I knew I wanted to be a rapper, you know. I was around about 15 years old, ninth grade, and I had a chance to go into uh, Luther Campbell's studio, you know, just to, you know, see different c CDs and tapes in the store and then get a chance to actually meet some of the artists. <laughs> Just being so close to that environment, I felt like, hey, you know, if I could put some lyrics together, you know, it's possible that one day, you know, I could be in those same shoes. Well, I definitely come from a musical background because my dad played all type of different instruments. You know, he, he even sang. My sisters, they had a gospel group early on, and, you know, I recall just, you know, watching them sing, and then when I get time by myself, I'll probably try to mimic one of the songs, things like that. So early on, you know, um, music was instilled in me. Some of my influences when it comes to music, you know, I'm a big fan of Outkast, um, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, uh, Scarface, um, Nelly, Ludacris, you know, um, Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, with the whole, you know, Harmony thing. So, I mean, I've always been inspired by those artists. Well, I actually linked up with Poe Entertainment. You know, we all grew up in the same neighborhood. You know, um, E-Class, which is my CEO, Freezy, my manager, we worked the regular nine to five together. You know, I recall just working at just to support my studio habit. You know, I would come in to work, play my demo, and uh, Freezy would just be intrigued by it. And I was just like, whoa, you know, my music is this hot. So that inspired me to really go on and really pursue, you know, being a rap artist, E-Class, running Pobo Entertainment. That was my first, you know, step into a professional environment as far as the whole recording process. He heard the demo and was just like, you know, I think I could work with you. And that was like early on in my career prior to me even coming back to him like probably a third time. The first real song that I recorded at Pobo Entertainment was called I Be Cool. You know, I recall E-Class in the record. It was just like, man, you really got something. Well, the first time I heard my song on the radio was called Birthday. I don't want no cake on my birthday. I want my cake birthday. Y'all recall DJ Khaled playing it and just backing it up tons of times. And, you know, I was getting phone calls from my friends. They're like, man, you made it. So, I mean, that was a real, you know, good feeling. Well, my favorite city to perform in is always, you know, my hometown, you know, Miami, because, you know, it's where I come from. And just to see the reaction, you know, um, prior to having a record deal to now is just always amazing. My favorite track that I recorded so far is called Roots. I'm talking about Roots. I can't hate where I'm from, cause where I'm from make me. second album you know it definitely you know touches me because it talks about where I come from what I stand for and a lot of times when I'm performing it on stage you know it's like tons of energy because I make sure you know um, that the crowd you know doing the ringers you know people got their lighters their candles up and things like that and it just makes me feel good because I know how far I come as a artist you know coming from nothing to something that that record right there you know really um, talks about me the individual not just inside the music, but outside it as well. Some of the things that inspire me, you know, to do my music is just being in different environments, traveling the world, seeing different places. You know, it definitely, you know, just really, you know, um, gets my mind going. I can't hate where I'm 